The FOF Expression 3.5 Sewing Machine has a fabulous way to combine different decorative stitches together and also the lettering that is built into this machine. It's called sequencing. So these four buttons are part of the memory part of this machine. The A Heart B button is what you'll start by pushing to open up a memory. So if you are in the alphabet area, uh, you can see that you have alphabets here, but just by typing in a decorative stitch number, so if I type in stitch number 90, it will show that stitch on screen. If I type in 90 again, and then activate a mirror image, you will see that your stitch will start to combine those two stitches together. So it's a fun way to start to combine stitches that are, are boring or not as exciting and put them together with other stitches and make them even more exciting. If you find a stitch that you absolutely love, you can save that into the machine's memory. So where the heart with the arrow pointing into it, it will allow us to save that sequence. Now I actually already put one of these in memory and number two is highlighted. So if I put it there, it will save that sequence again. And then I could also come up here and clear the sequence sequence by pushing the C button and are you sure you want to delete it? Touch OK and yes will then delete that away. Touch that little heart with the arrow pointing into it to get out of the save sequenced area and if you put, want to put another combination of stitches in, go back to the sequencing area and clear that out. You can do the same thing with, with putting in alphabets. So you do have where you can arrow down, you have different letters, you have symbols, and then you also actually have two alphabets. One's American, one is not. But to access these two areas over here, touch the F1 or the F2 button. And you'll see that you have uh, which letters you have selected. I would stick to the American ones, obviously. But F1's the one you wanna touch when you want other symbols, punctuation, or numbers and fun stuff. Uh, anything that looks like a little upside down staple. So like this last one here on the far end of the third row, that's a space. So if we wanted to spell out the word FAF, we can start by just selecting our letter, touch OK, and you'll see it come up here at the top of the screen. If you put in a letter that you don't want, just push clear and that will back up and clear out the last item that you put in. So I'll put the A back in and FF. Now if you do want it to stop after it sews at one time, you can arrow down up to this line here and you could put in tie off features and a cutting feature. And then when you start to sew, it will go ahead and stitch that all the way through and stop at the end of the pattern. So that way you don't get it over and over every, all <laughs> one whole row of it. But here we'll just get the letters that we put in. So here comes the tie off and the cut, since we put that into the part of the memory. And that is how your letters are gonna look. So they're nine millimeters wide, from the foot, so that is as big as it will actually go, and it will definitely be um, completely adjustable. Again, if I wanna save it, I can go ahead and put it into the memory, save sequence. Since number one is highlighted, and that was where the empty space was, we can touch OK, and it'll put the word FAF and the features we added into that area. If I wanna come back to the sequencing, and then just clear everything out, I can go ahead and do that with just one touch of the button. So you have quite a few things regarding the sequencing or the memory of the machine. Just remember F1 and F2 will switch you around to some of these other features and you can save it when you want. Also, once you have saved it, you could also bring, touch the heart and it will load from what you have saved. So if I wanna pull up the decorative stitches I saved, pick the line you want, touch okay, and then you're ready to stitch.